you. Johnny Lowe, thank you. Welcome, Johnny. Hallelujah. Yes, and now let your lungs so open, make now a big deeper, make so open so after too. Make it so. As I, all your deepers, and I brilliant. Ah, that's it, that's it. Hallelujah. Your leg prachtig. Try not to out too long, so you say for me, your leg prachtig. Your leg prachtig. Your leg prachtig. Hallelujah. Come and sit, man. Come and enjoy it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a day and what a year. And thank you, thank you, mighty men, Western Cape, and thank you for the bestuur. Thank you for for the gelegenheid om met die kostbaarste mense in die wereld op hierdie oomlik te praat. En dis jylle. Jy moet vir jouself weet dat jy kostbaar is. As jy hier so sit en jy sit in seer of jy sit hier met een vraagteken, moet ek vir jou vir ochend sê, dat enige man gaan dier die tyd. Maar God het een plan met elke man. God het een plan met elke man. Kan sy aan zijn, Jy het my geïnspireer, my broer, man. Ek gaat weer vir my vrou blomme aan dra. Al krij ek hooikoers, laat my oe uit pop. Ek sal uit blomme dra. Ek gaan my vrou met een nieuwe manier lief hee. Ek gaan een pa wees vir myself en vir my mens op een ander manier. Ek is geïnspireer. As een man met een nieuwe gehoor sê, een man met die naam Gerrit van een Westhuizer. Hy is die laaste paar jaar my geestelike leier. Hy het vir my gesê, Johnny, God stier altyd een man. Hy stier iemand in jou leven. Waar jy loop, wil hy jou koner. Waar jy staan, wil hy by jou wees. Wanneer jy geselskap het, wil hy met jou praat. Wanneer jy hartseer is alleen wees, wil hy alleen wees saam met jou. Dis die God wat ons dien. That's the God we serve. He sends his boys. He sends his sons to say, listen here, I love you. God sends a man into the lives of other men to tell them what he thinks and how he thinks. God works through his people. Did you see a cloud come down today and touch you? No. God is speaking through his children. And today I'm not standing here I'm not standing here because, because who I am. God uses people to get close to you. God uses people in your language and your taal and your manier. So says that Afrikaner come in you too. And I come praat with you on the intimest place of your heart. Die laaste twee maande wil ek vir my sê, het God met my gepraat oor een ding. En ek gaan dier die land en ek praat met duisende schoolkinders elke week. Met groepe, met manne. Dit maak die saak waar ek is nie. Of ek one on one is, twee of twee, drie op drie. Of daar, hierdie groep mense voor my sê, dit maak die saak nie. Wat ek is bezig om te praat oor my hart, my hart liefde. En ek praat oor een topiek en dis Jesus Christus. Daar is net een topiek en dis Jesus Christus. Dis die topiek wat alles kom verander. Dis die topiek waar oor ons moet ernstig raak in die land. Errol en ek eer jou gisteren aan. Of sy en ek eer jou vir gisteren aan. As min manne wat op hierdie verhoog kom staan en sê, ek sal dit sê. Maar God wil stier, Abba sê God wil stier. Jy sien, as in een makkelander begin Engels praat, dan begin broei sy mond. Maar natuurlijk, ek het my zambak saam gebring. En as ek so sukkel met die Engels, dan vat ek net my zambak. Sien jylle? Zambak. Dan krij jy net jou zambak by, maar God, stier. En hy sê, hy sê, ek wil met jylle praat. 
Ik wil voor jullie iets kom begeer. God vat niet. Zeg over jezelf. God vat niet. God doesn't take. God doesn't take. Ik wil hier jullie met jullie zelf voor. Zeg God doesn't take. God doesn't take. He gives. He's the giver of life. He's the giver of love. He's not a taker. Our Father is not a taker. Everything is His. Why must He take anything? And that's concepts. That's good as what in our skopen come. And as men and women must take it by each other, come us with prayer over. Us with prayer over. Let's go to the Word of God. It's not about what I'm going to say. It's what the Lord will say today. Let's pray quickly. Father, thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Father, for your Word. Thank you, my Father, that your Word will not come void back to us, my Father. Your Word will go out throughout the world. The Spirit will move and it will bring to pass what the prophecies over everybody has been said, my Father. Every prophecy will come to life, my Father. Every life matters, my Father. And we praise you in the only name that we know, the name of Jesus. The name that saves. Our King. Amen. Amen. Right. Ik wil veel vat naar Deuteronomium 30. Deuteronomium. Wat wat zijn we in Engels? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. My Engels broers, ik is lief voor jullie, maar jullie samen leren Afrikaans praat. Om Engels, om 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 Engels kom al mooi bij. Hij kan al zeggen. Spaces, spaces. Maar als kom bij, right? Deuteronomium 30, vers 19. Ik wil veel lezen. Dat is een overtaling. Die mensen denken dat die God van die oude Bijbel en die God van die nieuwe Bijbel, hij is twee verschillende uh, uh, Godden. Huh? Alles hier is twee verschillende mensen. Dat is twee verschillende wezens. Die een van die oude is een nieuwe een. Ik wil vandaag vragen. Kan God zijn gedachten veranderen? Huh? Can God change his mind? Is there no way that God can change his mind? And say for instance, something is on his way to a man. And somebody intercedes and he says, Father, in the name of Jesus, I stop that car on his way to that boy. And God says, stop it. Will God change his mind? No. God changed his mind a few times, my brothers. If you go to Exodus, you will see that Moses found God. And he said, Father, what will we do with these Jews? And he says, I want to kill them in the mountains. Because they are hard neck. Alles harachat. Alle was het Afrikaners. Ze harachat. wat God ons wil gee. God doesn't want to come and take from his sons. He wants to give to his sons. God is more willing to give than we are to receive. And I quote this out of a book from Mr. Smith Wigglesworth. Say God. Come on boys. Say God. Is more willing to give than I am to receive. Hulle praat van in die Bijbel, hulle sê, hy sê, ontvang, ontvang, ontvang. Jy 
hulle hoor die woord in die, in die woord, ontvang, hoe ontvang ek, wanneer ek die keuze maak, sê ek keuze, wanneer ek die keuze maak, jy kan nie liefde ontvang van jou vrou, as jy nie jou hart oopmaak, so dat jou vrou dit vir jou kan bring nie, jy kan nie ontvang, as jou hart nie oop is nie oor jou kinders, om in jou huis in te stap, en vrijmoedig te wees nie, boldness, God wil ons ons vrijmoedigheid teruggee. God wil gee nie, Bijbel. Hy sê, ek gee jylle die eeuwige lewe. Ek gee jylle die heilige geest. Ek gee jylle rechtvaardigheid. Ek gee, gee, gee. En dan sit die klomp Zuid-Afrikaners, harrige, as sê hulle, no, that's too good to be true. I have to work. You remember when we grew up, we had to work hard. It's the strong who survive. It's the strong. I want to tell you, it's the man of spirit and of choice that survives. It's a man that makes the right choices in bad times that survives. Does bad times hit everybody? Of course. It comes. My brothers, I made mistakes. I made mistakes, man. I was arrogant. I was arrogant. I had ambitions and I drove people away from me because I was arrogant. I made the wrong choices. And the men that are standing here is not trying to change you or trying to get you into a movement or trying to do something. They are speaking from their hearts because they love you, man. They want to give you something that will change your life forever. The true Jesus, not the fake Jesus, not the Jesus that looks far, but the Jesus that is close and inside of us, man. The Jesus that changes and saves and heals. The Jesus that moves. The Jesus that forgives. Jesus had to forgive me as well. Now, because of my unbelief, because of my arrogance, and I ask you, my brothers, I'm sorry that I was arrogant. Will you forgive me? I was arrogant, brothers. Don't be arrogant. Arrogance steals something from you, man. And it says the thing that comes to steal is not the father of love. It steals your boldness. You remember when we grow up, when we grew up in the Namekwa land, I had a, a grandmother by the name of Oma Hani. Say Oma Hani. Oma Hani. Gogo. And uh, I remember when I was, I, I was a, a small lady. I was in Orsu, Dream, Besiering State. My ma and my pa had three daughters gehad and 12 years na the last daughter. To come my ma after, but it's his fault. <laughs> Sy dog het een vreselike diarree. Toe sê die dokter vader, hy diarree is een babiekie. En hulle, hulle noem my pa toe die tijd, as they call him, O Rijpert. <laughs> Because, um, zijn, jy is een O Rijpert, jy. En, uh, en hier word een sienkie geboren vir een man, by jaar daarna, maar, my pa is jong, toe ek drie jaar oud is, is my pa dood en en ek het saam met my ma groot geword, maar ek ondou, ek wil jou ek wil jou vandag terugvat in hy plek toe toe jy vry was, toe jou keeses syver was toe jy gevoel het die wereld is onder jou en alles was vir jou mooi, daai daar toe ons nog die besemstokke where we took brooms and we made it into a horse and we put a, a, a piece of rope over it and we and we ride it like this, you know. And we used to make sounds with our mouths, like... <coughs> huh? Oh and you used to run into the house, and you go, Mommy, Mommy! And Daddy will pick you up. I didn't have a Daddy to pick me up, but, but I had a mother. But I had a Oma Honey. And I had a boldness to go into a house and be myself. 
I walked in, guys. I will walk in and make it extra scope. I'll open the fridge, eh? And I'll take some screens, cook an old pisans. But then in a macula, that was the last in the land pisans to cry. That pisans was not good enough for pisan brood. And I'm with you, pisan brood, for the kid, for the kid, go up. Right. And I was a clean sinky. And I had the boldness. I walked in and I laughed and I and I opened and Oma's a fridge is my fridge and I got all that Oma and my Oma had the lekkerste Turkish delight lekkers gehad. She had the best Turkish delight sweets but she used to hide it away from the boys so she couldn't hide them anymore. You know the Turkish delight they've got white powder over them right? So your Oma used to hide them between her breakup. <laughs> she used to hide her between her bloomers <laughs> in the cupboards, you know. There's any panties. Oh my sweet come up in a plek weg. Ma ek my neefie. Oh she the vrijmoedigheid gehad. Verstaan jy? As oma nie kijkie, dan soek ons. Kijkie. En dan soek ons tot as hy lekkers kry. Dan vreet jy laat die poeie so recht rondom jou oor. En as oma vir jou sê, wat het? What did you eat? Say, Noxy. But also the free mother gets gone. To his great reward, it makes his heart where he where he clank and he clear and night it was he. Ah, there was a time that my best friends were Jan and Job, the colored boys. We were free. My mother used to take us into the mountains, drop us with a pantwitwi, and we used to yak through the whole night, shoot anything. That's his devil. Coco Manders, everything, you know. And we used to take that stuff and we used to eat it. And then we get diarrhea. Sliding into first, you feel something burst, diarrhea. <laughs> and we were sick together and we cry, you know. Oh, those, those were the days, boys, man. Huh? Huh? With your best friends. But all of a sudden, you go into different places in your world. And in the world, they come and steal your boldness. All of a sudden, I get to the high school, and I'm still with this boldness, the vrijmoedigheid, and I stop in and I make a ice cream scoop. And the moment to eat a ice cream scoop, man, to clap a man with my ear, let him know no doofus. But you see, you can't hear all in the world. This is stop a man with the will not. But the world has its real and its regulations. The world has its own goodness opgebak, what the boldness by means of comfort. Come and take your vrijmoedigheid. Hulle vat weg. Die wereld plaas jou in a hockey. Die wereld sit jou in a judgment. Die wereld kom en sê vir jou, jy is wit of bruin of pink of blauw. Die wereld sê vir jou, jy is lang gekoord, dik of, of maar. Die wereld sê vir jou, jy lyk hier lekker met jou haar nie. Die wereld sê vir jou, jy moet hierdie geld hee of jy kan nie daai nie. En al hierdie goed is wat die wereld aan jou toe bring, hy vat die vrijmoedigheid van wie jy eindelijk is, van het weg. En in my jong leven het die ding gebeur dat, dat my, my, my innocence by my gekomfat is. And some of us, our innocence wasn't taken, like mine was taken from me. Some of us made the choice to give up our innocence. Our ground, our home, our advantage that we had, we grew up like good people and we gave it up to people. We gave it up for money. We gave it up because we followed the wrong woman. We gave it up like me for drugs. I gave it up for alcohol. I gave it up for money and gambling. And I sacrificed my freedom, my boldness. I gave it up. And there I found myself in a place where I, I'm almost dying. And I said, Father, that night here by Melbos, I was sitting with that gun next to my head many years ago in big trouble. I wanted to kill myself because I've given up everything in my life. I've sacrificed. Because the aunt had, had, had said his thing, he said, Hou op, compromise. Ek het gecompromise my hele leven. You 
you compromise the one deal on the other deal just to get the money to make the old deals make it work and then you steal from people but you compromise you compromise but the moment that the, every time that you compromise every time that you give up every time that you walk away you give something away of the originality that god has given you as a free gift and we grow up in houses parents parents without knowledge they take away the freedom and the and, and, and the joy of their children the bible says stop arguing with your children stop nagging on them set them free children he says honor your father and your mother so that your days can be added god doesn't say i will take away from your days he says i want to add to your life but honor your father and your mother god is a god of family god is a god of of freemoedigheid of boldness of openness when he sent his son jesus christ he says go and prepare the way for my children to come back to me let them come home let them come and stand on holy ground and let me give them an advantage yeah. hallelujah yeah. he says i don't want my children to run in the wilderness i don't want my children to be running in curses and in cursed lands i want my children to come home and it's a spiritual home i want my children to take 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 hold of their ground deuteronomy 30 ek wil hier uitkom vers 19 daar gaan my die afrikaanse bybel lees hy sê ek roep vandag die himmel en die aarde tot getuie teen julle dat ek die lewe en die dood aan jou as 'n kese voorhou hy sê die seun en die vloek die seun en die straf van ander woord kies die lewe sodat jy en jou nageslag kan lewe the lord says i'm giving you a choice my child i'm giving you life or death i'm giving you a blessing or a curse you choose say i choose you choose and as Johnny Lowe went through the world I made the wrong choices because there was a thing that drove me that wasn't connected to my father there was a thing that drove me that wasn't connected to the life source himself because John 14 verse 6 says I am the life the way and the truth my name is Jesus the father says make a choice life or death now we as South Africans, you listen to preachers and to all the pastors, I love you. I'm here to help your congregation to get the fire back in their bellies. That's why I'm an evangelist. I'm here to serve the people of South Africa. I'm not here to take from people. I'm here to serve in the name of Jesus. But I want to speak to the pastors today. Stop preaching the people to stay in the church. Preach them to get out of church. Send them out set them free give them a choice god has given us a choice and that choice is between life and death god has given us a free will as his sons look here i want to do something it is toilet papier ken jy hom en die polisie het hom genoem sap 13 dyson right this is toilet paper as ek hier die toilet paper vat en ek drop hom, wat gaan gebeur? Kijk hou, wat gaan gebeur? Gaan hy val? Hoekom gaan hy val? Hoekom? Gravity. Wat doen my mens gravity in Afrikaans? Swarte kracht. So daar is een wet van swarte kracht. Kijk goeie so, as ek nou hier die toilet papier los, gaan hy val? En as ek sê, Sim Salabimu Ameli Bandim, Gaat hij vlieg? Ah, als daar ik op hem en het bed hard, gaat hij vlieg? Ah, die toiletpapier gaan val. Daar is een wet van zwarte kracht. Of jij daar een glo of niet? Right. Zo sommige ouders zeggen, ik glo niet een zwarte kracht. 
Right? Dat zit hij voor ons op haar houtvleerke aan. Dan kan haar te pijn en spring hij. En gaan hij verrond hem. En dan hoor je een crash. En dan stel hulle voor hem in saal 1, 3 en 5 op. Hij is zo gebreek. Verstaan jullie? Do you understand that? So, if you believe in gravity or don't believe in gravity, the law will apply to everybody. But it's your choice. If you use gravity to your advantage, it will be to your advantage. But if you use it to your disadvantage, it will kill you, my brother. And the Lord says, the Lord says, I'm giving you that choice. And the Lord has never taken that choice away from us. And that is the godly nature that God has given us. A choice to choose. He says, choose wisely. You will receive wisely. The spiritual law of God, what me and you choose, what we choose to say with our mouths, what we choose to believe, and what we take with us, will give us boldness or will put us in a cupboard. It will give you a smile or give you a frown. It will make you a racist or make you a lover of people. It will make you free or it will put you in bondage. You choose. Stop arguing with God. Stop telling him he must come and do a work in you. You choose today, my brother. You choose. God says you choose today. God through the years have sent men. He has sent men through the Bible to do one thing. God wants to reconcile with his children. God wants to dance with his children. God wants to speak to his children. God wants to give his children their inheritance. Every day thousands of Christians are gathering over and over and over to over and over commit themselves to God but they never take their commitment and do something with it as Christians we have lost our way of what do we mean what is voortplant in Engels reproducing Christians are not reproducing Last night when I say when when I when I see Jack Malan with, with, with the father's boys, with the father's voice boys, listen here, that is a family growing. The mighty men family, they are growing because they are reproducing. But God wants to reproduce the true origin of his character into his children, not the lies that takes away from his children. I walked a life, I was sitting here trying to kill myself, lost in drugs, with family problems, women walking away from me, my family turning their back on me. My brothers, in a deep hole, and at that moment, God came with that gun to my head and he said, my boy, wait, I will be your father. And I remember a man in 1983, a Domini, on a CSV camp, he spoke this, the, the following words. He says, Matthew 11, 22, he says, Come to me, all those who are weary, and I will give you rest. Say, I will give you rest. He says, I won't take away. I won't condemn you. I won't take my finger and point it into your face. I will forgive you. Say forgiveness. It's a gift. Freely. I want you to open your mouth. I want you to talk with. Don't sit and judge me as I'm talking here because I had to go through this to bring it to you. I have received so that you can receive. Say for forgiveness. It's for free. I must take it and work with it. It is mine. I must decide today. God gave me a choice. That evening in that car, he gave me a choice. And I listened to his voice because somebody, a man once, sowed into my life. A man that my life has worked from God and 
En die woord dat in my hart kom le, dit was een grond. It was the ground that God sowed word into. Today I'm sowing into your life. I'm sowing into your life. And these words are falling on good ground. Because last night, the plow of Zain came. God says, I said, I use Zain to plow your heart. To my harre grond. Die harre gaat grond om te dop. Die Heere sê, ek die harre gaat grond kom om dop. Dit is nou sachte, vruchtbare grond. Sê, sach. Sê, sach. Vruchtbaar. Wonderbaar. En die grond is recht. En nou kom hierdie woord wat sê, jy het een keuze. God sê, toe ek dier die wereld gegaan het, my vrijmoedigheid is weg. Ek wou nie meer gepraat het nie. Ek wou nie meer gekyk het nie. Ek wou nie meer gelewe het nie. En God kom in my ouwe of darkness. En hy spoke to me. How does God speak? How does the Spirit of God speak? When your heart is open and you are ready to receive. But sometimes with the man say God sien om God te kan sien. Sometimes, sometimes moet a man fall om te kan opstaan. But it's not God that makes you fall. It's your choices that makes you fall my brother. And don't be arrogant like me. Like I was thinking that arrogancy will make you it will break you my brother i want to tell you today you're sitting here the lord is going to change your heart and your mind today you're not going to think anymore like you thought when you came into this place you will think brand new your deals you will do new the way you farm you will do it new the way you speak to your wife and your children will be new because it's not their choice it's your choice it's your choice God says, I place before you life or death. Choose, my child. But I advise you, choose according to my character, my love, and my truth. God sent men during the ages. Daniel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Hosea. He sent them. He said, Habakkuk. He says, tell them I am a savior God. He says, even there is nothing on the vineyard, nothing in the stables, nothing in my pocket, nothing in my bank balance, nothing, nobody in front of me. Still I will rejoice in my Father who saves me. Hallelujah! That is the type of, of breathing that God is doing in your spirit. When things go dark, the light shines. You are filled with the light, my brother. Last night, Heinz Winkler praised the Lord for that man. Hallelujah, wens ek gaan sing soos hy. Hy gaan so hoog. Ek sing dikke laag. Geel. Maar ons is ook nodig. Sê die basse is ook nodig. Ha! Amal kan die hoog sing hy. Dat is geklink soos hy ander manne wat zijn van gezaand gewin. Ey! Ons kan nie amal oud sing, ons moet bas ook sing, nie ankel. Bas, la, sê la. Brille bykie, la. Skynskoek. Ha, sê, skynskoek. The Lord wants to give us back our boldness. Chanky, God wants to give you back your boldness, my brother. I remember a, 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 a fearsome warrior. He looks like a Roman, my brother. Hallelujah. Me and that man did Kalari, Kalari, mighty men, many years ago. And brother, I love you so much. But the Lord comes and he says, he sends his prophets and he says, make my choices. I want to bring good tidings to you. That night before Jesus was born, the people didn't come there, the angels, and say, Who oh, shut up? For there is a sun coming that will make you tremble and fall to your knees, and you will beg for forgiveness, and they shall, your tannen shall knirs, and you will have the tannen, as if your tannen geissued were. That's what the Bible says. 
Lord comes in all his splendor, in all his power, in all his light. And he comes and he says, peace to all mankind. What is that? Man? Peace. While we are spitting him, while we are turning away from him, he comes and he says, peace to you. I say, freed on the yellow heart. In the main sir, and we echo well behind. Say well God is well behind you. But you twyfel and say well behind you. And that is what God does not hang over men's as a copper. That is us as men, as a plek that us a God does not as copper goi. Us gloon in that well behind. Ons gloon meer in ons foute as in ons welbaan. Ons gloon meer in die verlede as in die toekomst. Because we don't trust God's word. We don't trust this word. We don't trust this word can restore. This word makes brand new. Over and over and over and over and over again. Jesus never gives up. One day I was fed up with my marriage and I found a friend and I said, my brother, I want to give up on my wife. Yes, boys. I wanted to give up, man. And the Holy Spirit said to me, phone your friend, phone a man of God, phone somebody that you can trust. Found somebody that looks and talks and smells like Jesus, man. Because I want to come and help you. So there I'm sitting and in comes my friend and he listens to my story and he says, Johnny Lowe, by a year back, by a mighty man, had a young man who had been in the middle and had said, Love never runs out. Love never stops. And love never gives up. So don't give up on your wife. Get yourself together and go back and love your wife. It is a choice. Love is not a feeling. Love is a choice. Faith is not a feeling. If you are waiting today to have a feeling, to have a, a, a bit of a funny lip, if you are waiting for something to, to happen, my brother, you're going to miss the bus. Say it, miss the bus. Say it, miss the bus. You are missing the bus, my brother. Because this bus is a bus of spirit and of truth. This bus is moving and you've got to choose, are you up or down? Is it up or is it up? Is it in or is it out? My brother, today, God wants to give you back your innocence. I don't care where you've been, what you've done, my brother. I don't care what is holding you back. I don't care if religion or culture of your skin color is holding you back. But today, God is stripping you of everything that is circular. That is by the can. I say, come here, yo. That is moy and lift in the can. Today, I'm going to change the way you think. 2 Corinthians 5, 16. And I'm going to end off with this. 2 Corinthians 5, 18. 2 Corinthians 5, 18. It says, this is all the good work of God. Say the good work. The good work. God doesn't do a bad work. God reconciled. Say reconciliation. You've got to reconcile yourself with your past. You've got to reconcile yourself with your future. You've got to position yourself. It's your choice, my brother. You've got to position yourself in the mighty word of God. You've got to place yourself there. And you've got to say, Father, my heart is open. I will receive everything that you send my way. It is your way or the highway. And he says, God has reconciled himself to his people through Jesus Christ. God has done it. The 
only thing that is standing in our way is that people can't reconcile themselves to themselves and then to God and then to other people. We, and the word says, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19 and 20, you now in Christ has received that, that ministry of reconciliation. Say for Sudam, I have received a, a ministry of reconciliation. If you are here and you're not part of reconciliation, move my brother. Get in your car and move. Get in your car and drive up. If you are here and you're not part of your community, please don't waste our time or God's time. Just get up and move. You know why? Because God says, I have given you reconciliation. If you haven't got reconciliation, it means you haven't received from God yet. Now my brothers, what we have as mighty men of God is the love, the reconciliation, the boldness, the freedom, the joy that God has brought to us. And that is what is coming today for free. And as you're sitting there, I want you to see your life. And I want to see the times that you sacrificed your boldness, your freedom, your life, your joy, your conscience to things that has got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Who's the master of your life? It's the father of love, the father of choice, the father of strong, educated sons. Or have you sacrificed parts of your life to the devil, to the father of lies, to the father of rebellion, to the father of racism? My brothers, last night, there was an altar call. I'm making this call today so that you can receive your boldness, your peace, your joy, and your love back into your heart. I'm making a call. Come to me, my brothers, and receive in the name of Jesus. Come and take back your boldness. Come run to me. Run, it says, don't walk, run, man of God, run to the cross of Jesus, but move through, move into the glory of your Father. We are not standing in front of a cross anymore. Jesus has died and he has risen. He has given back us the authority. The kingdom of God is at hand, my brothers. The boldness. Come on, this is not, listen here brothers, this is not to test how good I can talk from the stage. This is about you, my brother. This is about you. Come on, man. We've got a ministry tent. This weekend just got serious, brothers. Say this weekend just got serious, man. This weekend, stand forward, stand forward, my brothers, touch the, the stage. Make place, come on, brothers. You need your boldness. You need that fire in your belly. You need that fire in your belly, my brother. That fountain, that fountain of life. God says it's your choice. It says when you stand up, don't let the devil keep you down, my brother. Don't sit there and feel that you are burning and you have received. You see, that's arrogance. If you can't come to the front, stand up where you are. Stand up where you are. Stand up where you are, my brother. Because God is coming to you this weekend. He says, you don't come to me, I will come to you. Stand up where you are in Jesus' name. It's time for boldness. No more. We are not scared. So I'm not scared. I'm not scared. 
I'm part of the solution, not the problem. Because my father is the giver of solutions. I am a solution in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you men are standing, hallelujah. Look at you guys. Brothers, brothers, this man here, Chuck Malan taught me one thing. He says, Jesus is waiting to come in. Jesus wanna, he wanna get on that white horse and he wanna come and he says, I wanna take my bride and make her my own. But he's waiting for unity between me and you. If you, are told, if, you don't, if you can't stand for anything today, stand for your people at home. Stand for your community. Stand to receive today from the God that is more willing to give brothers. He's willing to give. What do you, uncle?